My name is Vasumati. When you go to the Colloquia, you learn so much. It was like, you know, getting hooked up in um, the Matrix. I felt like I got a systematic review download just by spending three or four days at a Colloquium. It's an experience scientific, social, and personal, radically different from any other congress or medical that can exist. To be around some of the big biggest policymakers in the world and heads of national organizations, it was a, a very heady experience and it was just very thrilling. Je me trouve maintenant dans une grande famille de Cochrane Collaboration. Par exemple, ici, dans ce colloque, il y a de, de, comment, des spécialistes dans tous les domaines et chaque groupe essaye de, comment, de, de promouvoir l'évidence dans la pratique courante. Et je pense que c'est une grande contribution. So the annual Cochrane uh, Colloquium is the only point in time where there's an opportunity from anywhere, uh, anyone from around the world to come to a Cochrane meeting. They, uh, there's a huge amount of work. Um, normally if you go to Cochrane Colloquium there are meetings starting at 7.30 in the morning and going on until about 9 o'clock at night. Um, there's wonderful science going on. As a neurologist, uh, naturally I uh, participate also in the neurological congress and so on, but the colloquium is one of the best scientific meetings in the world. I am sure of this. It's harnessed the energy of a lot of movers and shakers, a lot of people who are globally well connected. Um, and it's reached out to so many specialty areas in medicine and healthcare. Everyone who means something in the field of research methodology or, or evidence-based medicine at least try to come to Cochrane Colloquia. That's a wonderful learning opportunity for, for everyone. It's a chance for people who are thinking about getting involved in Cochrane to come and to be enthused. And I'm sure most people would tell you that they can remember their first colloquium very well because it was so exciting and interesting. D'abord, le lieu était absolument magique à Rome. Ce qui était nouveau, c'était d'avoir des gens qui s'intéressaient à tous les aspects de la médecine fondée sur les preuves, qui s'intéressaient principalement aux revues systématiques, et ça, c'était très très nouveau pour moi. I think one I enjoyed the most was Singapore, and I think they did a really good job. The farewell party was in the Museum of Civilization and it was really a fantastic evening with uh, music and dancing with the, the, the big totems. The colloquium that sticks in my mind um, that I think I enjoyed probably the most to date was actually in Brazil. Every colloquium organizer tries to give the attendees a taste for their country and their culture, and they did. They had a great band, local music. I believe there was a conga line at one point, and they handed out boas and, and beads and maracas. I like the friendly atmosphere. I like the um, opportunity and the openness of people to, to exchange experiences. I find this unique. On that morning, I was given the Kenneth Warren Prize, and because I was so grateful to the collaboration for funding my ticket and introducing me to all these people, I sang a song at the song contest, and I, it, I won the song contest. The next day at the airport, everybody said, hey, you're the guy who sang the song. 
Nobody remembered I'd won the Kenneth Warren Prize. <laughs> If you look at the percentage of people from developing countries and consumers that attend colloquia, I would say at least half of them only get there because they can get a stipend. De hecho, me llevo muchos este correos de de personas que he conocido ahorita en el en el coloquio. Entonces, este, yo creo que voy a tener ya más más relación. Con esas nuevas experiencias. It is a community. I have many good friends in it now, worldwide. I've learned from them. I do appreciate them. Probably the South African one was the best, yeah. The, the food was uh, different to what we're used to. The wine in South Africa is fantastic. <laughs> it was a great opportunity for us to draw in people from South Africa and other African countries uh, to get them to meet. Uh, people have been involved in Cochrane, and I think that had a lasting impact on many people in South Africa who have since become involved with Cochrane. Because a lot of people work in isolation. Uh, they might be a single reviewer. They might know someone down the road who's a Cochrane reviewer. But essentially, they don't actually engage with the organization face to face. And the, and the Cochrane Colloquium is often the only opportunity they have to do that. We've got over 1,000 international contributors to our group. And it's really important to, to go into their areas of the world and meet with them, get to know them and support them in the work that they do. You need to meet up with these people that you sit behind a computer screen and you email with people and it's just great to put faces to names and hang out with people and you have these informal chats that you wouldn't have in any other environment. And, then, and perhaps uh, some of the breakthroughs in, in realising what we need to do with this project is, is uh, at the final party at the bar or, or something like that.